just the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look at you. Oh my gosh, look, there's an animal rescue tent. Can we go in, please? My instinct is sure, so we probably shouldn't. How could I say no to that? Little face with those cheeks and the <laughs> missing tooth. It's, I want to dust okay, you in okay, sugar okay, and okay, okay, enough, okay. Enough. Come on. Casey, there's a sloth. Oh, hey, my spirit animal. Whoa. Don't touch that. Aww. Oh. Why would you put that there? Shoo, go away. Look at you. Splendid backpack. It matches. Cool. Well, you're obviously a young lady of immaculate taste. Thank you. Bridwell's the name, and welcome to my Tentus Animalis Rescuus. Is that Latin for animal rescue tent? No, it's just regular words with us on the end. Makes me sound smartest. So, what sort of animals are you looking for? A temperamental tortoise, a stand-up chameleon? Maybe something small, cheap, and stuffed? I want them all. Ah, uh, yeah. We're not really looking for a pet. Perfect. Follow me. The thing about animals is that the best time to find them is when you're not looking for them. Huh. Does this tent seem bigger on the inside? That's ridiculous. It's smaller on the outside. Is that a baby giraffe? Or a long-necked hyena. I can't be sure till I tell you the joke. Giraffes have no sense of humor. Here we are. This is it. There's no animals in here. That's right. You said you weren't looking for a pet. And we're not. So you won't be interested in him. Who? Oh my goodness. You're just the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look at you. You. Oh, he's so cute and, and so tiny. And so red. I love that he's red. <laughs> How did he get that way? I don't know. I found him in the park trying to be a pigeon. I think he's lost his family, so he's a little confused. Poor guy. I'll be your family. No, you will not. Please, Uncle Casey. He's so tiny, he wouldn't bother anyone. I... Mr. Bridwell, how big is he gonna get? Well, that depends, doesn't it? On what? On how much you love him. Okay, adorable. Put him back. Please, just look at this little tiny face. I'm sorry. I'm new, responsible Casey now, and letting you get a little radioactive micro dog is not responsible, so give him back. No, I'm not gonna fall for that again. Give me the dog. Be careful. Well, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to crush my niece's dreams. I always wondered what it felt like to be the bad guy. My pleasure. Oh, by the way, do you know what sound porcupines make when they kiss? Ouch. <laughs> Ah! Hyena! Okay, come on. Let's get you to school. No word of this to anyone.